Keeping some of these vintage electronics alive sometimes means 3D printing parts that no longer exist. This is uh, an Apple color plotter for 10. Oh, color plotter. This is a pretty rare piece. Apple did not sell a lot of these. Yeah. So you 3D printed some of the parts right. for this? Right. So there are a lot of consumables. There's a pen holder and then there are pens. The new old stock pens. That's a pen that I 3D printed. You can't get the pens anymore. Right. And the pen holders are very fragile because 40-year-old ABS plastic. So really, that's what's the first kind of project when I got it, was getting it to the point where we had the consumables and where we had the pen holder so that I could you know, actually use it. I used to do robots for the longest time. I basically kept a bunch of wilting dying robot dogs from the 2000s from exploding. Ibo? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I have a bunch of them. And, you do? Uh, yeah, uh, I, most, I don't really use them. They just